Test 6, Part 4 Directions You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following announcement. Attention Tresco shoppers, please don't forget to take advantage of our sale on all summer clothing. If you buy one item, you get a second item of equal or greater value for half price. The sale ends at 5 p.m. tomorrow, so buy now before it's too late. And don't forget to apply for a Tresco credit card and receive a 15% discount from all your purchases. As always, we thank you for choosing to do your shopping with us, and we wish you a very pleasant day. 71. If the two summer clothing items you purchased were both priced at $20, how much did you pay for them in total? 72. When would you have to pay full price for all summer items? 73. Why would you apply for a Tresco credit card? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following message. Hello, and thank you for calling National City Bank. If you are calling to inquire about your balance, please press 1. If you are calling to update your account information, please press 2. If you are calling to report a card lost or stolen, please press 3. If you wish to speak to an operator, please hold the line and we will answer your call in the order that it's been received. Thank you for calling and please remember to try online banking at www.ncb.com. 74. What should you do if your card is stolen? 75. In what order will the operator answer your call? 76. What does National City Bank recommend to its customers? Questions 77 through 79 Refer to the following speech. Welcome to the DART Organization's annual conference. It is always such a wonderful and unique opportunity to have DART employees from all over the nation gather in one spot. This gives us an opportunity to discuss and compare strategies. Also, we at the National Office have been working hard at finding more effective tactics to employ in our local organizations. These will be presented throughout the week. So, again, welcome, and I hope you enjoy the conference. 77. How often does this conference take place? 78. Who attends this conference? 79. When was the speech given? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following announcement. Hello, this is your captain speaking. We should be arriving at our destination in approximately 15 minutes. I have turned the seatbelt sign on, so please fasten your seatbelt for the duration of the flight. Also, please put up your tray tables and return your seats to their straight and upright position. The flight attendants will come through the cabins momentarily and collect any remaining trash. We hope you enjoyed your flight with us and enjoy your stay in New York. Thank you for choosing American Eagle Airways. 80. Until when will the passengers need to have their seatbelts fastened? 81. Why will the flight attendants come through the cabins? 82. What is this flight's destination? 
Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following talk. Welcome to the campus tour of Kalamazoo College. My name is Lauren Stockdale, and I am the head of the admissions department. We're excited to have you here. The Kalamazoo College community is known for developing a model of an educated citizen that combines scholarship, civic engagement, and in-depth living experiences in other countries. As a highly selective, nationally renowned, and internationally oriented four-year College of Arts and Sciences, Kalamazoo College has developed a tradition of excellence. It enrolls 1,234 students from 38 states and 14 countries. Founded in 1833, K College is among the 100 oldest colleges and universities in the nation. And we still have many of our original buildings. Let's start walking toward the Upjohn Building. 83. What is not a part of Kalamazoo College's model? 84. On average, for how many years do students attend Kalamazoo College? 85. What is unique about Kalamazoo College? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following forecast. Winds descending the Cascades Tuesday blocked the cool Pacific sea breeze and sent temperatures to record levels in Washington and Oregon. However, it looks like this record-breaking heat will finally subside in the near future. However, for those of you hoping to go to the beach or spend the weekend outside without worrying about heat stroke, never fear. Normal temperatures in the 70s and 80s are forecast to return this weekend. 86. What caused the hot weather? 87. What is significant about the hot weather? 88. What will happen this weekend? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following newscast. Tonight, the Houston Comets will take on the Utah Stars in the first round of the playoffs. All eyes will be on Houston's new Big Three. Cheryl Swoops, Tina Thompson, and Jenneth Arcane want to show they can win the title without Cynthia Cooper, and the trio push Utah all season. Houston averaged 75.3 in his three wins against the Stars during the season. However, when it comes to the playoffs, Past records usually don't matter much. It all depends on which team plays with the most heart and determination. 89. When will the basketball game take place? 90. How many Houston players will be watched carefully? 91. Who no longer plays for the Houston Comets? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following talk. A veterinarian who contracted the skin form of anthrax from an infected cow has been treated successfully. The veterinarian was infected last month while doing an autopsy on the cow. Anthrax occurs naturally in the soil and can be passed to livestock when they eat grass. 92. What is the veterinarian's medical state? 93. How did the veterinarian get infected? 94. How do livestock contract anthrax? 95 through 97 refer to the following speech. Our public schools reading scores are among the very worst in the country. This is unacceptable. Our children are our future and we are not only letting them down but damaging the future of our city if we allow children to graduate from high school without being able to read. These children will not be able to find jobs and ultimately plummet into poverty. 
It is not just an education problem. It's the entire city's problem. It is our problem. Action must be taken immediately. 95. Who is the speaker probably addressing? Ninety-six. What is the specific problem being addressed? Ninety-seven. What does the speaker want? Questions ninety-eight through one hundred refer to the following message. Thank you for calling the Quello Clinic. If this is a medical emergency, please hang up and dial 911. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Saturday, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. If you are calling to make an appointment, press 1. If you are calling to reschedule or cancel your appointment, press 2. If you wish to speak to a nurse, please hold the line and someone will be with you shortly. 98. What should you do if you have a medical emergency? 99. When can you not make an appointment at the clinic? 100. What should you do if you want to speak to a nurse? 100. That is the end of the test.